no yung uh, pagpapahayag ng ating uh, Panginoon hindi upang uh, tayo ay uh, magmapuri hindi upang tayo ay uh, parang uh, magkaroon uh, ng uh, uh, tinatawag na complacency kundi magkaroon lang tayo ng uh, kapanatagan sa lahat ng mga bagay na nangyayari sa ating uh, paligid, uh, lalo na sa ating uh, pamilya. Amen. So, sabi nga ng prophet, after the seals were open, kung meron kang uh, uh, biblical na katanungan, meron na ngayong uh, biblical din na uh, kasagutan. And we are so thankful na ang uh, sagot na ito ng Panginoon ay hindi ba yung uh, alatsamba? Hindi rin yung uh, baka sakali? Kung uh, hindi, ito ay uh, uh, may katiyakan. Uh, so salamat sa Panginoon. Kanina ay nag-enjoy din kami doon. So we go on uh, teaching no? doon at... Uh, Salamat sa ano sa uh, way din ng Panginoon meron nang uh, nagagamit just to uh, show yung uh, scriptures and then uh, yung mga quotation ng uh, prophet at yung uh, topic namin ay very interesting it's because uh, patungkol ito sa paghahanda ng bride sa kanyang uh, pag-alis at uh, hindi ka maging handa kung hindi mo alam kung ano yung uh, uh, yung uh, plano or uh, yung uh, paghahayag uh, ng Panginoon ng kanyang uh, orasan. Kasi ang Panginoon ay hindi naman yung parang bahala na kayo. Basta pag dumating ako, e eh, kakalabitin ko na lang kayo. Hindi naman ganun ang ating Panginoon, kundi... Gusto niya na magkaroon tayo ng tinatawag na kapahayagan patungkol sa bagay na yon. So, uh, nung uh, Wednesday, we talk about uh, yung uh, threefold purpose of uh, the mystery at uh, yung pinakamahalagang element ay nandun na. At yun ay walang iba kundi yung... Uh, Adam and Eve ay uh, bumalik na, sabi ng prophet. At pagdating sa tinatawag na revelation ng Adam and Eve, hanggang ngayon ay uh, marami pa rin hindi makaunawa. Ano? Ang nakikita nilang Adam and Eve ay after the fall. What it means, yung after the fall wherein isa sa sumpa ng Panginoon doon sa babae ay yung uh, pagpapahinuhod niya sa lalaki. ba? Diba? In other words, hindi na sila co-equal. Hindi na co-equal yung kalagayan nila, kundi yung uh, lalaki ay mas mataas at yung babae ay mas maha, mas mababa. ba? Diba? Which is, in the beginning, it was not so. In the beginning, it was co-equal. Pantay. Bakit sila pantay? Iisang mind, isang life, isa lahat. Di po ba, mga did? At yun ang nawala after the fall. At yan ay nawala hanggang sa ating panahon. But kahit na yan ay ipinapahayag na sa panahon na ito, hindi pa rin makuha ng iba. Hindi pa rin makuha ng karamihan. Gusto pa rin nila yung kalagayan after the fall. Na kung saan yung bride ay mas mababa ang kanyang kalagayan sa kanyang husband. Wherein the prophet said, it was co-equal. Hindi worshiper lang tayo. Hindi mas mababa tayo. Hindi po mga kabadid, that was the result of the fall. Pero tayo ay nire-restore sa isang kalagayan na kung saan ang male and female ay co-equal because they are one unit. So, yan pa rin yung uh, ating uh, papaksain. We will talk about the identification of the Holy Spirit. 
I believe it's hard for others, but uh, we have to see how the prophet taught this subject. Now, sa Romans 8, 14, 17. At balikan natin yung ibang mga quotes, mga kabatid, just to... Uh, express how uh, the husband and wife has been uh, returned to their original position and that's the reason Eden has been spiritually speaking restored. Amen. Bagamat may physical, hindi magaganap yung physical kung walang spiritual, wala yung pinakamahalagang uh, uh, person na nandun sa Eden at the time, which is yung husband and wife. Romans 8, uh, 14, 17, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. Hindi na yung spirit na natatakot ang meron tayo. Amen. But you have received the spirit of adoption. Whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Which means, my father, my father. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit, dalawa na. Diba? And that is God and man. That we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs. Heirs of God. Anong, sabi, anong ibig sabihin na heirs of God? <laughs> Di tagapagmana ng Diyos. Anong mamanahin mo? Hindi yung creation because the creation na yan ay gagamitin ng uh, subjects. Amen. Pero, tagapagmana, what it means? It's a position. And join here with Christ. Anong ibig sabihin? Same position. Same inheritance. Amen. Kaya nga sila, eh, siya ay nag-increase. Kasi binalik ng Panginoon ang tinatawag na rightful position. So, if so be that we suffer with Him, that we may be also glorified together. Amen. So napakaikling scripture, dati dinadaanan lang natin, pero sa patuloy na pagbubukas ng ating Panginoon, atin ngayon itong higit na nauunawaan. Now, let's go back to uh, the Garden of Eden. Amen. Nabasa ko ito, I believe, nung nakaraan. If you'll notice how that Eve was united with Adam, they were co-equal. When we say co-equal, walang mababa, walang mataas. Bakit? Hindi mo po pwedeng ilagay na mababa yung isa, mataas yung isa, because they are one to begin with. They, they were uh, the image. In the image, I will say, in the image, not the very image, in the image, and in the likeness of God. Iba yung in the image, iba yung the image. Magkaiba yun. Ano po? So, Eve was united with Adam. She become part of him. God, did you notice in Genesis 1.27, He created man, male and female, created he, them. Now the man was both male and female when it come to being in the spirit of feminist and masculine. Iisa sila. 
Di ba? Then God took from his side a rib. Did you notice the body part was a byproduct, but not the spirit. The body part of the woman was a byproduct after the creation had been finished. God took from the side of Adam a rib and made a woman, but not the spirit. So in emphasis ng prophet, hindi yung spirit. The spirit was part of Adam, for he was both man and woman. Spiritually speaking, both masculine and feminine. Ito yung hiwaga na binigay ng Diyos kung bakit tayo nakabalik. If you put yourself lower, then hindi ka pa nakabalik. Amen. Hindi pa. If you are a part of it, you are still in the process. But if not, hindi ka talaga aabot dun. Amen. Again, this is hard. Now, don't you see the great picture? We in flesh are different. We're like a byproduct a created being by holy wedlock, but in spirit, we are sons and daughters. Not some other spirit, but the spirit of the living God. So now when we say, the spirit and you is different, then you are not part of the bride. If you have the same spirit, which is different from that spirit. And that spirit is God himself. God is a spirit. So, uh, nung isang araw, grabe yung talakayan, ano? Sa, it's about the spirit and Christ. So, majority, mga kapatid, dun sa katalakayan, iniiba nila yung spirit at si Christ. Let us see. Diba? We in the flesh are different. But, sabi niya, the spirit of the living God, oh, oh, uh, we have, but in the spirit we are sons and daughters, not some other spirit, but the spirit of the living God. We are in His likeness, in His unity, in the perfect image of the living God because we become sons and daughters. Not separated. Because you cannot separate that spirit. Again, sa time ni Adam and Eve, different manifestation, but it's the same spirit. In this day, different manifestation of the masculine and feminine, but it's the same spirit. Okay. Not separated, but the same spirit. The same what? God. Amen. At hindi mo mai-enjoy ang pagiging bride mo kung hindi ka part. Hanggang claim ka na lang. Di ba? Hanggang claim, mga kabadid. But actually, it's not Real. Pero salamat sa Diyos, binigyan tayo ng ganung kapahayagan. That is why we are bold. Not bold na para uh, we can say iba tayo. We are bold because we have a more sure word of the pul pul fulfillment of that prophecy. The same God. No. The same what? Person. Join in wedlock to the eternal. Amen. Di ba mga badid? When we say eternal, hindi ka pwedeng maglagay ng sitwasyon because that was already eternal. Walang beginning, walang ending. Kasi ginawa mo to. No, it's eternal. Diba? Kasi pinili mo 
No, it's eternal. At wala kang mailagay na anumang credit. Sabi ng prophet, it's beyond human merit. See how God planned it that uh, we should be not a different but Him? Tayo dapat ay hindi iba, kundi siya. Oh. Kayo nang umunawa. Kasi kung iba, hindi ka bride, sabi ng prophet. If it's different, it's not the bride. Bakit? Bone of his bone, flesh of his flesh, spirit of his spirit, she is him. Not some other being of some other tribe, but a real union and offspring of the Almighty done by a holy union. Now the body comes from mother and father, but the spirit come from God. God separating himself as Adam was separated. Not in the spirit, but in manifestation. Nakita niyo mga patid? So alam na natin kung ano ang ating identification. Because the prophet himself, yung logos na yun, which is the spirit of God, my part. He has got a bride. Yung logos. Di ba mga kapatid? Amen. Now, tignan natin mga kapatid, ba nagkamali ako? He was God, the logos. The word that went out of God. Pansin ninyo yung mga word. God, logos, word, spirit. Mamaya madaanan natin mga kapatid. He was God, the Logos, the Word that went out of God. When it began to brood upon the earth. Anong ibig sabihin? Hiniwalay niya sa Diyos? No. God just condescended. He was God, the Logos, the Word that went out of God. When it began to brood upon the earth. And it brought forth marine life. When the Spirit of God, the Logos, the Word which God said, let there be. And there went the Logos, which is the Word. And the word begin, uh, cause all this was in the Logos, the whole word of God, the whole Bible for every age. And as the Logos begin to breathe upon the earth, there come marine life and building it up, building up the bird life on up to animal life. And finally, there comes something in the representation, the prefigure of the reality, which is Adam and Eve. Or look like the thing that was brewing it, brooding over it. God, a man in the very image of God. That man fell like the seed has to fall. And then God began to brood over that after the fall. He brought up a Enoch. He brought up a Elijah. He brought up a Moses. He brought up prophet after prophet. Trying to restore that image again. And finally, upon the earth, came the genuine image of God himself again. So yung Adam and Eve is just a representation. Adam and Eve is just a prefigure. But when that word was manifested, it was the image of God Himself again. But remember, si Christ ay both masculine and feminine. Sabi ng prophet, you were in Him when He was here on earth. Not yet separated. Kaya kailangan tusukin yung kanyang tagiliran para ma-release. Sabi ng prophet, when that blood released, it released God. Remember the quote? When that blood released, it released God. In the very plain language, it releases you. Amen. Okay. Which was God? The Logos made flesh and dwelt among us. Now, that same Logos has a part. He has got a bride. Wala pang manifestation. It was the Logos. Yung logos na yon meron ng bride. Amen. And the same logos, this word that cannot be tampered with, 
is brooding over the churches today trying to bring back the word to its full manifestation. Then we will find out what is that word being manifested. Which the prophets was carriers to the seed, and the church denominations has been carriers to the seed now. Now notice quickly, but like the shucks hugs holds in the seed now, then it leaves her. Because why? Kailangan ng ma-identify yung real seed. Capital S-E-E-D. And that seed is the capital W-O-R-D. And that capital W-O-R-D is the capital G-O-D. Hindi yan magpipinsan. Iisa lang yan. Amen. And Jesus, remember, sabi niya rito, sa pagdating ng uh, 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 fullness of time, na-express yung tinatawag na fullness of that seed. And that was... Jesus himself. Tingnan natin. God's word comes in season. Tuloy-tuloy ko na lang, mga abadid, no? Because why? I don't have my own message. Because I am. You are. We are all. That message. Sabi ba yan ng prophet? Yes. If not, we are just presuming. God's word comes in season. The law and the grace and so forth. As we went on down through the ages. And each time, it's lit up by the manifestation of the light spreading forth. The life that's in the seed. By the word of God, the sun shines today. Because the very sun that we're enjoying is God's word made manifest. Yung S-O-N, S-U-N rather. This very sunlight that we see outside is nothing but God's word when he said, let there be light. And what if he had said, let there be light? And there was no light. Then it wasn't God spoke. When God says, let there be, there will be. And so we find out that the sun that we are enjoying is the manifestation of God's word is spoken in Genesis. Yung araw na yan. Kasi kung wala yan, walang kwenta ang mundo. Hindi mo ma-appreciate ang lahat ng mga bagay. And we realize that God's light of the day is His Son. Pansin niyo mabuti. God's light of the day is His Son. The one was S-U-N. This one is S-O-N. S-O-N is the Bible. Pero this Bible without the manifestation it's just a letter, a letter that kills millions of people. Amen. He was in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. Hebrews 13.8 He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. It's the Word of God always. Always. When we say always, eternal. It was Christ in Noah. It was Christ in Moses. It was Christ in David. That look up as a rejected king upon the city. Where 800 years later, Christ sat there weeping over a city, being a rejected king just like David was. It's always the Spirit of Christ. Always. Because that Spirit, wala siyang beginning, wala siyang ending. 
Amen. And the full manifestation of God's word was made known through Jesus Christ. Sino si Jesus Christ? Ano yung kasunod? The Spirit of God. So we cannot separate the person and the Spirit because the Spirit, mga kapatid, ipinoject niya ang kanyang sarili sa pamamagitan ng tangible manifestation. Amen. Di ba mga kapatid? So the difference between Jesus and the prophets, they were just anointed with that Spirit But, finally, it was manifested in its fullness through Jesus Christ. Ano nang sabi ng prophet? Jesus Christ, the Spirit of God. Isa lang ba sila? Isa lang eh. Kaya nahihilo yung marami because of the manifestation. Okay. So maliwanag. Now, sabi ng prophet, this old earthly tabernacle here, you know what it is? Oh. This body is like an old coat that you wear A coat that you once wear. Inuot lang natin ito. Ito. Di ba? At malapit na yung hubarin. And we are so thankful, mga kapatid, because we know it. We are not presuming. This is real. Amen. Kaya ini-enjoy ko na itong ano eh. Itong tuod ko na ito eh. Kasi pag binis ko na yung original, ba wala na yun. Grabing ni-enjoy. Sa sabi ni Sister Kisti, oo. Oh. <laughs> Amen. This body, of course, ano, grabbing pain, of course, but inside, ay ano, Grabe ang rejoicing eh. Talagang gusto nang mawala. Gusto nang mawala. Gusto nang kumawala. Gusto nang ano talagang gusto na niyang lumabas. Totoo ba yun mga kapatid? If you, pag nandun tayo sa mga sirkumstansya na ganyan, iba't iba. Yung inside of you because of this revelation, gusto na niyang ano, lumabas. Gusto na niyang isigaw. I'm free. <laughs> Amen. But now, you have one so much better. You don't use it anymore. What do you do? You hang it in a closet. For you've got one better. Now, of course, you can read between the lines. Baka iniisip nyo, ang katawan na ito, sasabit natin gano'n. In the memory of my old body. Hindi gano'n, wala yan. Babalik sa lupa yan. Di ba? Amen. You've got a better one. Pero syempre, hindi naman buburahin ng Panginoon, I believe, yung memorya mo. Maalala mo pa rin kung ano yung first manifestation mo. Pero... Kung ako, mga kapatid, wala na akong panahon aalalahanin yon sa tindi ng, uh, ng kagalakan. Hindi mo na nga maalala. Di ba? Parang ngayon, nandito tayo sa church. Amen. Minsan, nagkakaroon tayo ng amnesia. Nawawala sa ating alaala yung gabundok na labahan. Di ba? Nawala sa ating alaala. Di ba? Si Judith. Kala ko kung sinong Judith. Yung pala Judith.
Pinaalala mo kasi Brother Eric eh. Yun tuloy ang uh, hinahanap ni Brother Joed. Si Judith. You've got a better coat. It's more up to date than the one you used to wear. That's worn out. Worn out na nga ito. Diba? Ang dami nang nararamdaman. What? It is that garment. You are the inside of of that there, the real you. That garment only done what? It bore your image. See? But you don't need it anymore now. Amen? Now! Bakit? Binuksan ng Panginoon ang iyong alaala. At napagtanto mo hindi pala ito yung katawan mo. Merong mas better. Di ba mga patid? Are you glad, saints? Are you excited? Excited ka dapat mga kapatid kasi alam mo, because of this revelation mga kapatid, amen, malapit mo nang isabit itong katawan na ito. Amen. Hindi literal na sabit. Ah. Gusto kong linawin yon. You've hung it up. It's a rug. And that's the way this old body is. You, it's bore the image of the heavenly. Yet, it is not you. You are on the inside of that body. You. Who is that you? Ano yung kasunod? Oh. You! Ito na ba yun? Amen. You are on the inside of that body. You! Sino yung you? The Spirit of God is on the inside of that body. Kasi hindi po po pwede, mga kapatid, na yung Holy Spirit na nahan kay Christ ay iba kay Christ. Sabi ng prophet, Jesus Christ, the Spirit of God. And you! Your identity. Amen. You, the Spirit of God, is on the inside of that body. Remember, the Logos has a part. He has got a bride. That's what makes the outside come into subjections. Because the inside is pulling it, see? Bringing it in line with the Word of God. Your inside, you yourself, your being. Who are you then? If we receive the Spirit of God, then we can say we are, amen, the very expression of that genuine God. So we, we are going back to Eden. The only way we can go back to Eden is when, when we have that revelation, mga kapatid, masculine and feminine are one. Not different spirit, it's the same spirit, of course, but with different manifestation in flesh. Amen. So it's pulling it, bringing it in line with the Word of God. Your inside, you yourself, your being. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, some says, yung Holy Spirit ay merong hangganan. Kasi the Bible said, according to them, grieve not the Holy Spirit of God whereby you are sealed until the day of redemption. So ang Holy Spirit ay nandyan lang until the day of redemption. Amen. To them, yung uh, redemption, mga kapatid, ay sa body change. But Brother Banham used it dif in different way. Ang redemption, mga kapatid, 
is when the seals were open. Ang Holy Spirit nandiyan naggagabay, nagmimediate, amen, hanggang sa time na uh, dumating ang yung day of redemption. Amen. At yung dumating yung day of redemption, the Holy Spirit Himself, hindi partial, kundi yung fullness ay nanahan na sa bride. Just like sa Old Testament, Amen. Nandun siya kay Moses, nandun siya kay Jeremiah, and then one day, He expresses Himself in uh, the fullness, in that uh, person. Amen. Name the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, sabi niya, God sent His mirrors. His express expression of Himself. Grabbing me a quotation, di ba mga badit? His express expression of himself in the prophets because the word came to the prophets like Moses, Jeremiah, uh, every one of them. And they express God therein, though their prophecy that God gave them. And now, God expresses Himself through His Son, Christ Jesus, as He takes us in as adopted children and put His Spirit in us, crying, Abba, Father. In other words, my God, my God, just like Himself at Calvary. Ano sabi niya? My God, my God, Why hast thou forsaken me? So sabi ng brother, O tignan mo, Amen, iba siya, iba yung spirit. Now, ang subisigaw noon ay yung man. He has to die as a man because you cannot kill God. <laughs> Di ba? Kaya maraming nalilito dahil hindi nila nakita yung God man. God man race. Amen. So yung, my God, my God, it's a man. Kasi umalis yung spirit, sabi ng prophet. Amen. It doesn't mean na parang, no. Inalis yung power. He humbled himself. Hindi yung umalis na kung saan na napunta. Hindi po ganun mga batid. Inalis niya yung authority. Kasi hindi siya pwedeng Uh, patayin as God, sabi ng prophet. They tried many times. Amen? Kaso, gusto na nilang batuhin si Lord, biglang, tsung! Nasaan na? Many times. Basahin niyo ang scripture. So, He put His Spirit in us, crying, Abba, Father, So in other words, my God, my God, see? Then the Holy Spirit in us, Christ's Spirit expressing Jesus Christ. Think of it. Tanong. Express na ba si Jesus Christ? Yes. Amen. But remember, He is not talking about the expression of Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago. But He is talking about the expression of Jesus Christ for today. Pansin ninyo, mga kapatid. Then the Holy Spirit in us. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ's Spirit Expressing Jesus Christ. In what form? Bright form. <laughs> And the people look at you. Amen. Of course, lahat ng tumitingin, hindi pareho. May mga tao, hindi sila nag-commit ng kaunawaan, pareho mo. Pero meron silang nakikitang something different sa iyo. 
Amen. Hindi ka kilala. Pero magaan ang loob nila sa iyo. Amen. May mga tao ba na ganoon? Meron. May mga tao din na nagmamatuwid pero pag tumingin sa inyo, parang ang init ng dugo nila sa inyo. So pag ang tao tumingin, magkaiba. 'Di ba? Itong Bible na nga lang mga mga kapatid, din daming tumingin dito eh. Pero nag-produce ito ng 44,000 na relihiyon out of uh, Christian umbrella. So, mga kapatid, that spirit is here. So nakita natin kanina, sino daw 'yon? Di kayo kasama ako. Amen. Ano na ang purpose? To express Jesus Christ. Amen. In this day. And the people look at you. Amen. So sabi niya, Don't be the rough part on it. Pentecostal brother. Na-admonish niya yung mga nearest denomination at that time. Shine up with the word and believe every bit of it. Don't get out into these isms and things as we see going on today. Don't be astonished at that. Because the headstone is coming, dumating yung headstone crying, Abba, Father. Nagkamali ba ang prophet? Kasi ang uh, sinigaw ng uh, headstone ay ano, grace, grace. Pero sabi niya dito, the headstone is coming crying, Abba, Father. Sino yung sumigaw ng Abba, Father? Tayo. Sabi ng prophet kanina, as part of the people wherein God put His Spirit. Not just put His Spirit, but His name. Di ba mga manit? At sa law, hindi mo po pwedeng ibigay yung name mo sa isang uh, uh, dalaga na hindi kayo united. Hindi kayo married. Amen. When we say married, it's a union. Amen. Hindi pa kayo binasbasan ng pare o pastor. Hindi po yung hindi po yun yung marriage. Amen. It's just a declaration. It's a ceremony to declare to the people that the couple has been united. Yun ang purpose ng uh, ng uh, ng ano ng we uh, ng wedding or marriage ceremony. But marriage start, sabi ng prophet, just like Joseph and Mary when they change their vows. Di ba mga balid? Amen. Tayo ay Nung dumating, merong sinisigaw, Abba, Father. Pretty soon, my God, my God, yes, I believe that with all my heart. Do you see it? You know what I mean? It's Christ now taking the rugs of yesterday. Inaalis na yung mga bagay nung nakaraan. The Lutheran, Methodist, Presbyterian, and so forth. And he is putting it through a process. What kind of a process? A process of the Holy Spirit. What they had plus making it till he is pressing his own image. Yan ba ang purpose ng Panginoon? Gusto niya nang i-express. He is pressing his own image itinutulak na niya ang kanyang sariling larawan. Di ba mga patid? 
Nagtagumpay ba siya? Nagtagumpay ba ang Panginoon? Yes! Because why? Meron ng mga mananampalataya. Elect. Which was chosen before the foundation of the world na nalaman na nila ang kanilang identity. Amen. And when the church knew that, sabi ng prophet, Eden has begun. Amen. Anong Eden has begun? Before the fall, after the fall. Gusto ko pong ulitin. Before the fall, masculine and feminine are co-equal. After the fall, the masculine and the feminine, the husband and wife, is no longer co-equal. Saan tayo binabalik na Eden? Before the fall, not after the fall. So, pag ang understanding natin, mga kabadid, is after the fall, na yung wife ay in subjection. Now, hindi ko sinasabi to para mag ano mag rejoice naman yung mga wives yay no you have to have the same revelation you have to have the same mind amen o salamat sa kalayaan malayan tayo ngayon baka kumalat yan ha o yung mga babae daw sa angeles Pantay na daw sila sa kanilang mga asawa. Now, I want that to be clear. When you have that same revelation, mga kapatid, this is not about uh, husband and wife naturally. Kasi kung ang wife mo, unbeliever, vice versa, hindi po pwede yun. So we are to talking about spiritual here. The husband is Christ. And the bride is the wife. Amen. Di ba mga kapatid? And if the husband and wife have the same mind, have the same revelation, mga kapatid, I can say you are co-equal. Perfect. Walang, uh, ano, walang struggle. Bakit mga kapatid? Amen. Magiging maganda. Not, not I'm... I'm not saying rather na walang skirmishes na magaganap. Meron. Kasi kung uh, body change na tayo, I believe, wala na. Amen. But if you can have that same mind, mga kapatid, it's wonderful. Amen. Kaya mong gawin lahat eh. Di ba? Yung ginagawa ng wife, kaya kong gawin. Yung wife, kaya rin niyang gawin yung ginagawa ng husband. Talking about yung responsibility. Di ba mga badid? Ang maganda, meron silang harmony. And the only way you can have this harmony is when you have the same mind. What kind of a mind? This mind, knowing who you are in this day. Hallelujah. Glory. He is pressing his own image. When the church and Christ becomes one in union. Granted, I trust that you see it. And glory to God. We saw it. We saw it. What's the purpose? of this vindication or manifestation of himself in this day. The very manifestation of the Holy Spirit. I'm talking about the identification of the token. Sabi ng prophet, lan na lang po ito, mga patid. Talking about the identification of the token. Is the token here now? Hindi po yung untoken, but the token itself. 
Jesus Christ raised and in us now. Identifying himself that he is yesterday, today, and forever. He is that always present God. He is that I am. Amen. What for? To revindicate his promise word of this day. What's that word? To revindicate. Bakit ginamit yung word na vindicate? It was then vindicated in its fullness 2,000 years ago. And now, amen, he revindicate his promise word of this day. Ano yon? It's the Holy Spirit again. The entire Holy Spirit is in human flesh. Amen. To show that God is here full of grace, full of truth. Kasi walang pag-asa ang mundo na ito, mga patid, maliban. Amen. Sa tree of life na lumalakad at lumalapit. That's the purpose. This is the most deceiving age. This is the grandest of all ages. Amen. Para sa atin. But remember, this is also a total darkness. But in the, in the evening time, it shall be light. And that light is no other than God himself. The prophet said, Amen. Then you and Christ are one. God and Christ are one. That day you will know that I, that I am in the Father, the Father in me, I in you and you in me. There is God made manifest in human flesh, showing himself alive. Showing himself alive. After 2,000 years. Boy Banjos, Nasan siya? Amen. Hallelujah. It's hard, but that's the reality. Amen. Ano ba yung Holy Ghost? Sabi ng prophet, it's the token. Amen. Tignan nyo how it come, how it came. Familiar sa atin. Because all of us was born by sex. And therefore, the life that's in there is of the world. And that life will not stand. It's the thing that's already judged and condemned. Walang pag-asa. At ang mundo ngayon ay punong-puno ng mga taong walang pag-asa. Salamat na lang. Meron na silang pag-asa ngayon. Bakit? Ang Diyos na punong-puno ng biyaya ay narito. Showing Himself alive. Amen. Mas mabigat na statement. The Holy Spirit is here. With flesh and bones. Mabigat sa iba yan, but we have the coats. And this is not just a coat. We are rejoicing for the manifestation and the perfect realization of that word. To them, it's just a word, but for us, it's a reality. Amen. Now, sabi niya, you cannot touch it up. There's no way to touch it. There's no way to smooth it up. There is no way to make it better. It's got to die. That's the only requirement there is. It's got to die. And the substitute. Capital S. When we say substitute, yun ang pumalit. A life of Jesus Christ has to come into you which is the Holy Ghost. Kung yung dating kayo ay wala na, 
At ngayon, bago na. Sino yon? Alinaw o? The substitute and life of Jesus Christ <laughs> has to come into you. Sino daw yon? This is the Holy Ghost. Therefore, your life is the Holy Ghost. In other words, you are the manifestation of that Holy Ghost. Amen. Has to come into you, which is the Holy Ghost. God's token that you have accepted the blood of His Son, Jesus Christ. And the prophet said, Amen. God manifested in Christ. Another quote yung brother Eric. Redeemed by Christ. Yun na lang. Redeemed by Christ. The second Adam. That's the purpose of God. To bring us. Bring us back to that lost Eden. Redeemed by Christ, the second Adam. What? Notice making it known. How? My, there's just so much here. We could just keep on going. Notice the tree of Christ's body in the garden now making his mystery known to this bride tree. What? Redeemed by Christ, the second Adam. You believe he was going back home to Eden. Amen. Going back home to Eden with his fallen wife, redeemed back home again. That's Christ in the church today, taking his wife back to her, to her original position. Doon sa kanyang na-loss na position. Ano yung na-loss niyang position? Co-equal. After the fall, she lost that. But, he is now taking his wife back. Amen. See the threefold mystery now? God manifested in Christ. Christ manifested in the church all together to bring back the original Adam and Eve again. Amen. Man and woman, which are one, co-equal, made out of the same blood. Amen. Same blood. And same spirit. Ano ba sabi? And everything else. Malinaw ba yan, mga kapatid? Everything else, the church is the blood of Jesus Christ by the Spirit because the life is in the blood. That's the baptism of the Holy Ghost that baptizes us into His body, that recognizes only His body, His flesh, His word. Amen. And we are so blessed. Amen. That Spirit is now here. Amen. And that spirit is nothing in the world but the seed word made manifest. Amen. Sabi ba yan, ma'am prophet? That spirit is nothing in the world but this seed word made manifest. Baki ano nga, brother Eric? Ah, sister Gemma na lang. Baka na, 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 na si SCT si brother. Alam mo, binipigilan na niya kanina po yun. Okay? So sabi niya, And when you become subject to that spirit, it throws your whole being subject to that spirit. And that spirit is no other than the word made manifest. The real you. And when you become subject to that spirit, Wala dyan. Wala dyan, sis. When you become subject to that spirit, bilis ng oras, tatapusin ko na po. Subject. No, isa lang. And when you become subject to that spirit, it throws your whole being subject to that spirit. 
And that spirit is nothing in the world but this seed word made manifest or quicken, hallelujah, made alive. And when the Bible said, don't do this, that body quickly turns to it. There is no question. And what it is, what is it? It's the earnest of the resurrection. This body will be raised up again because it's already started. Bakit? Yung spirit nandiyan na. Romans 8. Amen. That spirit of Christ dwells in you. It quickens that mortal body because that spirit, anong sabi ng prophet kanina? I, you. Then he was, but now in this day, mga kabadid, you being his bride. Amen. At kailangan mga kabadid, we will go back then sa susunod, but I want to finish it. Now, sabi niya, the only thing you have to do then. So ano na ang gagawin natin? It's revealed to us. The only thing you have to do then is have faith in what you are. And it is required. Have faith in God. Or you're lost. But he said, now the only thing you have to do then is have faith in what you are. Have faith in what the word says you are. Ano bang sinasabi ng word sino ka? Yun lang ang kailangan natin. Paniwalaan lang yun. Hindi, pastor eh. Have faith in God. Ito na ngayon sinasabi. Have faith in God. Have faith in you. Have faith in yourself. Have faith of who you are. Amen. And Jesus had faith in the word of God that said what he was. It is written of me. Can you say that? It's the same. Didn't David in the Psalms and the prophets and all of them speak of him? I am the bread of life that, that come from God out of heaven. Amen. I am the tree of life from the garden of Eden. I am all these things. I am that I am and know with the perfect faith that he was the anointed Messiah. That's that the Spirit of God was upon him. He said, now I in myself do nothing, but it's my faith in God. It's his faith in himself. And God was in him. The word made manifest. And when the word of God comes in you, it's made manifest for you are a believer and a, a, there is the faith of God that moves in you. So mga kabadid, in other words, ang true believer ngayon sa panahon na ito ay yung naniniwala kung sino sila sa panahon na ito. Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na believer yung other covenants ngayon hindi pa nila alam. So, ang sampalatayanan natin ngayon in this day is God. Di ba, mga padid? Which is that what you are in this day. Amen? Wala, nasiraan. <laughs> That's the reality. It's full of critics. It's full of criticism. Pero yan yung reality, mga batid. Amen? Again, the only way we can go back to Eden is knowing who you are. And we have now the picture. Di ba, mga batid? We have now the revelation who that Eve and Adam was. Were one. Amen. They were co-equal. So, ngayon, kung ang unawa mo, 
mga kapatid, yung masculine ay mataas sa feminine that was the understanding after the fall. Amen! At kung yun ang understanding natin hang hanggang ngayon, hindi pa tayo nakabalik sa Eden. But thank God, with this threefold mystery. Ano ba yung threefold mystery? All that was in God, He poured into Christ. All that was in Christ, He poured into the church to have the preeminences. And then next what? Going back to Eden. Amen! Di ba mga batid? So na-fulfill na ba? Praise God. It's been fulfilled. Then it was a prophecy, but now it's a manifestation. God bless mga batid. Si Brother Joed. Bless you, Brother Joed. Amen. Glory to God. Dito gulatan eh. Amen. Eh, puno na mga kapatid. <laughs> Sabi, wala daw, wala daw tayong ibang gagawin kundi tanggapin. Kung sino ka. Di ba mga kapatid? Have faith kung sino ka. Eh, nakita natin yung co-equality no mga kapatid. Ang Panginoon, nung si Adan, si Adam, hindi siya kumuha ang ibang being para doon kunin si iba. Si iba ay doon galing kay, kay Adan. Kaya tinawag na bone of his bone. Di ba? Spirit of his spirit. Kaya doon siya galing mga kapatid. Ganon din sa, yung, yun, yun yung sinabi ni Pastor Portoing sa bride. Tsaka sa, yun, yun sila ay uh, alang mga ka, pre-figure doon sa reality na dumating ngayon mga kapatid. Kaya lahat eh. Kasi kung titingnan mo yung sabi ka na yung uh, back part, mind of God. Ang Diyos, mga kapatid, upang malubos or matawag siya na Diyos, una nga, ginawa niya yung isi. Eh, upang may mag-worship sa kanya. Pero yung gusto niya, mga kapatid, yung sama niya, gusto niya pag sa laman. Yun yung gusto ng Panginoon. Ngayon, ang iba ay doon lang nakita, mga kapatid. Kasi hindi, hindi nila alam yung the, the three purpose of God. Yung, yung, yung Diyos na the fullness of God nag, kay Jesus Christ, andin ngayon din sa bride, mga kapatid. Kaya na, mga kapatid, sabi niya ng pastor kanina, Inside of this body, ito ay coat, tinawag, no? Pero yung inside of you, yung nandoon, mga kapatid, yun yung ang Diyos. Yun yung sinless, mga kapatid, na napaka-konektado, eh. Inheritance at saka yung co-equality, mga kapatid. Sabi ka na, napakaganda yung inheritance, eh. Yun yung natanggap mo. Ano yung natanggap mo? Ano yung inheritance yung sila ay namatay? Life. So, kailangan pala yun, mga kapatid, yung, yung pagkamatay na yun, to bring life. Ang magdala ng buhay, kaya mayroong imparting, yun yung, yun yung nabuhay mula doon sa, buhay mula doon sa pagkamatay, at nung nabuhay siya, ay bumubuhay, sabi ni Brother John kanina, mga kapatid. Kasi, kung ano yung nakay Christ, ay nandoon din, right? Bibira lang ang tumanggap niyan, mga kapatid, even this message, mga kapatid, so, Ala na eh, wala, wala ako kay dagdag mga kapatid, pero salamat sa Panginoon ay isang ano lang, uh, testimony. Eh, Nag-MC ako kanina eh. <laughs> wala, wala hindi ako, inunahan ni Brother John eh. Aha, akala mo, di ka tawagin na. Pero salamat sa Panginoon ay tayo ay nagagalak, nagagalak mga kapatid. Sabi niya, isang ano lang din, di ko alam kung nabasa ito ni Pastor. That's what the church is doing to me. For Jesus is the Word and, and He is the Bridegroom. And the Bride is a part of the Groom. Hanggang doon lang 
maraming beses binabasa ko, Brad, is a part of the room. Hanggang doon lang, mga kapatid. Eh. Pero pagdating sa co equality, ayaw nila. Ayaw, ayaw mga kapatid. place on the earth he is showing portraying to her to her tito ma with the bride he never taken and made another being galing din sa kanya mga kapatid but he took part of adam the original creation took from him a rib from his side and took a feminine spirit out of adam save doon kinuha kay Adam, mga kapatid. Same daw sa atin ngayon, yung bride ay doon din galing sa kanyang groom. Kaya tinawag siyang bone of his bone, place of his uh, place, spirit of his spirit. Same talaga, mga kapatid. Out of Adam, leave the masculine spirit in there and place it in the feminist part. Therefore, part of his Spirit, part of his body, flesh of his flesh, bone of his bone, word of his word, life of his life, and that's the way the bride is to Christ. So na ma, napaka ano mga kapatid no? na itong itong mensahe na tinatanggap natin, itong kung sabi kanina, wala wala kang ibang gagawin kundi tatanggapin lang at pananampalatayahan lang. Kung sino ka. Kasi sabi ni Brother John kanina, ma madipit ka ni Satan kung hindi mo alam kung sino ka. Nung nalaman mo kung sino ka ngayon, mga kapatid, you are powerful para mga kapatid. Satan is powerless. Yun sinasabi ni Brother John kanina, mga kapatid. At yun yung, and yun yung tinatawag natin na inherit. Saan? Do, anong inherit, mga kapatid? Yung posisyon pala yun, mga kapatid. Sabi ni Pastor, hindi pala yung mga bagay dito. Hindi pala yung mga, to begin with, atin din naman yan eh. Pero yung inherit na sinasabi na, yung kung sino siya. That's why the rapture of the real seed has to come first. And the rest of the dead live not for a thousand years. Then they were brought up at the white throne judgment. See, kasi tayo ay kasamang opo doon sa, uh, sa judgment throne, mga kapatid, no? Yung bride and groom, eh. Sila yun, mga kapatid. And... Tingnan mo ito, mga kapatid. Ang mahirap kasi dito, yung covenant at saka yung bride, ay libel ang tingin ng ano, tao. Libel ang tingin ng karamihan dito, mga kapatid. Pag sinabi mong bride at saka yung pariho lang, eh. Pariho lang ang tingin nila, eh. Yun lang ang tingin nila ba? Pariho lang tayo sa mga hindi nila nakita na yung bride ay give part ng give, ay yun siya ay bahagi ng tagapagbigay ng buhay. Kasi hindi ka rin naman makapagbigay ng buhay kung wala ka eh. Yun ito yung sinasabi ni Pastor kanina na Karamihan kasi ngayon, mga kapatid, no? even sa Christian, itong good works dito eh. Pero yun ay, hindi naman, an, hindi naman masama, mga kapatid eh. Pero lahat eh, pag, pag ikaw ay pumunta kahit sa mga, ano, mga kapatid, yun talaga eh, yun ang gustong ipaam. Pero hindi, mga kapatid eh, ito ay hindi, hindi sa pamamagitan ng magagandang gawa. Kasi, kung magagandang gawa, it, ito ang it, gusto nating i-achieve eh. Itong katawan na magbigay ng magagandang gawa, 
ganun pero hindi perfect mga kabatid eh. Hindi mo talaga makukuha mga kabatid na magiging perfect sa laman na ito. To begin with, perfect ka eh. Sabi na but we find out God give his, God give his children his word for their defense. We have no other defense than the word of God. Kasi yung word of God, ikaw to mga kapatid eh. Yung word, just to mga kapatid eh. So wala kang maging ibang defense, kundi kung sino ka. That is our defense. Ngayon, pag sinabi mo, o tingnan mo yung defense natin ay word of God, pero sa likod yan mga kapatid, kung yung word of God, yung defense mo, hindi ito ulit ako, hindi posisyon ito mga kapatid. Yun yung defense mo. There's no bombs, no, no shelters, no hiding place, no Arizonas or Californias or whatever it is. There's only one defense we have. And that is the word of God. Ito mga kapatid, sabi ko nga, ito ay posisyon, ito eh. And the world was made place and dwelt among us, which is Christ Jesus. He is our the only defense, being in Him, we are safe. Being in Him, we are safe. Amen. Ang ibig sabihin mga kapatid, kasi yun eh, being kung sino ka, we are safe. Not even sin is imputed to a genuine believer. Bakit mga kapatid? Ah, yung tinutukoy mga kapatid ay yung Diyos. Yung ikaw mga kapatid, yung totoong ikaw mga kapatid. He that's born of God does not commit sin. He cannot sin. See? It's not even imputed. Ito mga kapatid ay, ito may ano si Father John dito no? In-explain niya mga kapatid. David said, Blessed is the man who God will not impute sin. When you're in Christ, you have no desire to sin. The worshiper, once words, has no more conscience of sin. You don't desire it. Desire it. Now, to the world, you might be a sinner, but to God, you're not. Ito mga kapatid, kaya, ang tao talaga, sabi, ni, sabi kanina, patay yun mga kapatid. Kung walang eternal life, patay yun. Nakita natin buhay, pero, yun ay patay yun mga kapatid. Pag wala sa Panginoon. Now, ngayon mga kapatid, Without the bride, sila ay patay, di ba, mga kapatid? Kasi yung, yung, yung sinasabi ng, ng Psalms 32, 1, ano ba yun, mga kapatid? Tingnan na natin, mga kapatid. Ito, ito. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven. Whose, whose sin is covered. Bless, blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputed not in iniquity and his whole spirit there is no guile. Itong mapalad, uh, itong mga tao, mga kapatid, na blessed is the man na hindi ipinaparatang yung kasalanan, mga kapatid, kasi yung the sinless one ay narito. Yung Diyos na narito, mga kapatid, yun yung hindi nagbibilang ng, ng mga kasalanan. Kasi ang tingin, basta sinabi mong tao kasi, mga kapatid, makasalanan yun. Pero mapalad yung tao na hindi ipinaparatang yung kasalanan sa kanya. Kasi, to begin with, ikaw hindi ka naman nagkasala eh. Ang nagkasala, yung tao. Yung sinasabi ni pastor na, yung... Yung, yung dito ang yung nakikita mga kapatid ng Panginoon ay yung binhi yung totoong ikaw hindi naman talaga nagkasala yun so kaya narito ngayon yan nag ng body kasi yun sila yung nag, hindi nagbibilang ng kasalanan sa tao kasi pag sinabi mong tao patay yun makasalanan yun yun yung napaka na, napaka ano mga kapatid mabigat mabigat mga kapatid kaya pero magaan sa bride kasi sila yun eh. Kaya nga, no, noon, tawag na yung ano ko doon, na, Aba, bro, may balita ako na kayo daw ay, nung nakarating ka dyan sa mga, nagiging juice ka na daw. 
Nung una, hindi pa ako, hindi, hindi naman, dapat marinig din nila kung paano. Tawag ng bro, naging Diyos ka na daw. Naging, hindi, kundi nalaman ko na to begin with Diyos pala ako. <laughs> Lalong lumala, mga kapatid, sa paningin nila. Pero, yung ang katotohanan, mga kapatid eh. Ipinalik lang tayo doon sa kaisipan natin, mga kapatid, kung sino tayo. Kasi, mahirap ko, may explain muna ako kung bakit ganun. Sabihin, yung profit, mayroon tayong mga quotation, pero hindi, mahirap na. Kaya sinagot ko na ng diretsyo, wala explain, explain mga kapatid. Kasi, talaga naman mga kapatid eh. Sabi you don't decide it. Now, to the world, you might be a sinner, but to God, you're not because you're in Christ. Your in Christ, sila ay na kay Kristo. So ngayon mga kapatid, alam na natin ito, no? Ma may position. No? So, how can you be a sinner when you're in the sinless one? Oh, Diyos yun mga kapatid. To begin with, hindi ka nagkasala talaga mga kapatid. Kasi Diyos yun, mayroon bang Diyos na nagkasala? Wala eh. Kundi, kaya nga yung sinless one na yun, sila yung, nagbi sila yung nagbibilang at saka hindi nagbibilang ng sa mga tao mga kapatid. Kaya maraming disappointment, no? Sabi ka rin, ha? How can you be a sinner when you're in the sinless one? And God only sees him who you are in. Kaya, itong message na ito, ito ay, ito ay kalakasan ito, mga kapatid. Tayo ito, eh. Kaya nga, sabi ng prophet, kung hindi mo nakita si Kristo sa mga verses na binabasa mo, basahin mo ulit. Basahin mo ito ulit hanggat kung makita mo, basahin mo hanggat makita mo ito mga kapatid. Ngayon, kung hindi mo makita ang iyong sarili kay Kristo, na si Kristo at ikaw ay isa, ay balikan mo rin. <laughs> kailangan, mong, kailangan mo itong kasi, pag sinabi mong Kristo, uh, yung, yung yesterday mga kapatid, alam na nga ito eh. Mas alam pa nila kaysa sa atin. Pero yung Kristo for today, Walang nakakaalam mga kapatid, kundi yung bride lang niya. Walang nakakaalam, kundi yung bride lang niya. Mga, bakit mga kapatid? Kasi siya yun eh. Alam ko kung nasaan. Kaya nga kung mayroong nagsasabing na ang Diyos ay nandun, yung Diyos ay nasa akong saan, huwag kang maniwala. Bakit? Paano kang maniniwala? Eh, ikaw yun eh. <laughs> ikaw ang nakakaalam eh. Kung nasaan ka mga kapatid eh. Kung nasaan ang Diyos mga kapatid eh. Kaya, kung wala talagang kapahayagan, mga kapatid, ay talagang windang-windang. Salamat sa Panginoon na itong tama at yung, yung balance at perfect na mensahe, mga kapatid, ay doon lamang maraming message eh. But the perfect message ay doon lamang inihayag niya, doon sa perfect bride. Doon sa perfect bride. Kaya nga, noon mga kapatid, ah, kaya nga ang message na Christ in his charts, to have preeminences. Di ba? Si Canfold yun, mga pangalawa. And then, third, sabi niya, ah, to restore. Oh, yun, mga kapatid, sinabi ni Sister Alice. Kasi, hindi na alam, mga kapatid. Grabe, mga kapatid. Kasi, sabi, nung Merkulis, sabi ni Brother Eric, yung center doon, ang, um, ang source ng lahat, ay yung king at saka queen doon sa kaharian, mga kapatid. So, kailangan itong may restore itong bride, mga kapatid. Una, may restore sa kanyang may, no? Kasi, yung kaharian, nandun na yan, mga kapatid. Eh. Kailangan yung bride, kung sino siya ngayon, mga kapatid. At yun, kanina sabi ni, ni pastor ay, hindi na, hindi na magtatagal. Hindi, hindi na magtatagal. Noon, yung, yung salitang, uh, sabi sa iba, hindi na magdugay, hindi na magtatagal. Noon ko pa na, naririnig yun mga kapatid eh. Naririnig ko na. So, nung, nung bata pa ako. Ah, bata hanggang ngayon, bata eh. Nung hindi pa ako kagwapuhan mga kapatid. <laughs> naririnig ko na yun mga kapatid. Bakit? <laughs> hanggang ngayon. Pero mas ngayon ko, mas ngayon ko na, na ano mga kapatid, na talagang malapit na mga kapatid. Bakit? Itong mensahe ang binibigay ng Panginoon, no? Ito na mga kapatid, kaya God bless. Amen.
Amen. Tama yun. Nung uh, hindi pa siya kagwapuhan. Pero ngayon ay gwapo na siya. Kasi nakuha na niya yung imahe. Imahe ng uh, Panginoon. Actually, ang susi lahat dyan ay yung co-equality. Yung co-equal. Pag sinabing co-equal, the same. Diba? Pag ano nga, Sister Gemma, makita na, i-ano lang natin, i-balikan lang natin yung ko. Dalawa actually yan, co-equal, co-equal. May dash yata yun eh. Ayan. Ayan. Ayan yun na sis, yun na, pwede na yan. Now, it was then man was made rule over the woman by God's word. She was no more co-equal with him. She was co-equal in nature, you know, but when she broke God's word, God made a man to be a ruler over her. Pero dati hindi. Pag sinabi natin co-equal, equal. Pantay, pareho. Kung tignan nyo yung synonyms niya dyan, duplicate or... It's the same. So, saka lang siya nagpahinuhod sa lalaki when she broke God's word. Okay, Genesis 3.16 if you want to put it down. She was no more equal with the man. She was then the breaker of God's word. Of course, wala naman tayong magagawa because they were just the Adamic race. Ang susi pa dito sa understanding na ito is knowing Adamic race and God's race. Sabi ng prophet sa uh, question and answer, yung mga tao uh, who will uh, uh, repopulate the earth dun sa time ng eternal age, sabi niya, yung mga other covenants, yung mga nakapasok. And uh, most of them, ay nakapasok dahil sa inyo. Ha? Oh, pumasok sila. Yes, ang daming coach niyan. They were just allowed to enter. ba? Diba? So pumasok sila doon. At sila yung tinatawag din na uh, tillers of the soil. Which is yun yung purpose of uh, why God created Adam. Walang tira, tiller of the soil. So, nung dumating si Adam siya na, nagbihis sa ano nito. He just spoke. Gusto niyang sabi ng prophet. Gusto niya ilipat yung bundok. He can do it because he was then the God of this earth. Pero may God of the universe. Amen. So, yung kalagayan nila the, then, it, they were co-equal. Perfect. In, a, uh, in, in harmony. ba diba? They were bailed with the bail of holiness. They were bailed With the bail of innocence. Wala. Nakahubad sila. Wala silang ano. Di ba? Basta they were just doing their job. Amen. And then, uh, yung Panginoon bababa at uh, nakikipag-usap sa kanila. Amen. Ang Panginoon pa at that time, ang kanilang pastor, ang congregation, silang dalawa. Di ba, mga madid? But when the woman heard another voice. Iyon mga kabatid, mga kabatid, from the beginning hanggang sa ating time, when that woman will hear another voice, doon na nagkagaroon ng problema, even uh, the families. So nawala. Yung babae ngayon, because of that uh, uh, fall, sabi ng scripture, ang babae ngayon ay nagpahinuhod sa kanyang asawang lalaki. But in the beginning, it was not so. And when the seals were opened, tayo ngayon, mga kabatid, ay ibinabalik sa Eden. That was our uh, uh, topic. Amen. I believe, nag-start, of course, dito nagsimula, she had increased because why? Nalaman na niya kung sino siya. So very simple. Maniwala ka lang kung sino ka. Di ba yan yung quotation? Paniwalaan mo lang kung sino ka. Ano yung sinasabi ng word sa'yo? 
Akala ko ba maniwala sa Diyos? Pag naniwala ka kung sino ka, naniwala ka sa Diyos. <laughs> isa pa, Sister Gemma, may isa pa dyan eh. Hit list. O pwede rin doon, doon sa ano. Ah, it, ito siya. Ayan, yan. Yan, yan, yan. Ito pangalawa, yung pangalawa. Ayan, yung isa kanina. Ayan, ito, ito. Now, now known this after the beginning, after the beginning, after time began, back in that was eternity is over. Notice after that fall was made by Eve, after that fall, there was need to be another covenant made. Now this is going to stumble you. But I'm going to give you the scripture to prove that this is the truth. Hanggang ngayon, yung pa rin yung stumbling block sa karamihan. Now notice after the fall, Jesus said, God at the beginning made one of a kind, but now after the fall, now we're going beyond that. The covenant was co-equal, but now after the fall, there is another covenant made. Now she has no longer, she was no longer ruler with him. So yun yung result. But in the beginning, it was not so. Ano dati? Dati, she was ruler with him. Amen. Dati, she had the same power with him. Di ba, mga patid? At yan ngayon ang binalik ng Diyos. Amen. Tama nga rin naman paano ka magbigay ng buhay kung sapat lang sa'yo. Di ba? At iisa lang ang pwedeng source of eternal life, sabi ng prophet. There's only one source of that eternal life. Sino? God. Kung hindi ka source, hindi ka pwedeng magbigay. <laughs> Amen. Eh grabe yan, mga batid, but we will go into more details. Amen. It's already a revelation, mga batid, but of course, amen, ang Panginoon ay patuloy na nagpapahayag. So, gusto ng Diyos, bumalik tayo sa kalagayan na yun. Hanggat hindi mo yan maabot, hanggang ang nauunawaan mo, ano lang tayo, bread lang tayo, Amen. Siya ay mataas, tayo ay mababa, yung groom ay mataas, ang bride ay mababa. No, they were co-equal. Hindi lang sa manifestation, in the spirit, in that logos form, meron na siyang bride. Meron ng masculine, meron ng feminine. Bakit sinasabi natin co-equal? Hindi naman kasi sila separated. Iisa sila. Pag uh, sinabi mong groom, sila rin yun. Kaya nga sabi ng Panginoon, in that day you will know that I am in the Father, the Father in me, you in me, and I in you. Talks about uh, the same spirit with different manifestation. So salamat sa Panginoon mga kapatid. Ipinahayag niya ito at hindi ito pinahayag upang tayo ay magmapuri. Sa ating sarili, magkaroon lang tayo ng kapanatagan. Kasi sa atin, as long as uh, uh, nakikita natin yung loved ones natin, Amen. As long nakikita natin yung mga tao, marami pong taong mababait. Maraming taong mabubuti. At ang Diyos naman, dahil sa kanyang biyaya, ay hindi naman siya, mga kapatid, parang hindi makatwiran na hindi rin sila bibigyan ng tinatawag na kaligtasan. So God knows it. Kaya nga meron pong white throne judgment. Amen. But still, hindi sigurado sa white throne judgment. Mabuti yung pinakita mo, napakabuti yung uh, ano, yung ginagawa mo. Pero hindi naman yung kilos lang naman ng katawan ang uh, babasehan ng Diyos. Sabi ng prophet, pati isip, pati puso, susuriin yan ng Diyos. Iplaplas yan ng Diyos sa napakalaking screen. Of course, that's not the way. Yun lang ay way ng Panginoon to express. Maglalagay uh, siya ng malaking canvas na yan. Lord, wala akong nagawang masama. O, tignan natin kung anong inisip mo. Plus, plak, plak, plak. Parang computer, tsak, tsak, tsak. Ah, ganito yung inisip mo. 
O pumasa, ba? Malinis. O, kung ano yung damdamin mo, buksan natin, tak. O, i-re-review ngayon na ganoon. Sa so, walang mailulusot ang tao. Amen. Di ba, mga badid? Pero still, di ba, mga badid? Merong Diyos, mga kapatid, na punong-puno ng biyaya. Kasi kung yun ang babasin, wala talaga maligtas. Walang maligtas. Kasi lahat nag-isip ng pangit. Lahat nagkaroon ng damdamin na pangit. Pero salamat na lang, merong Diyos na hindi yun ang kanyang basihan. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Binasehan niya. Amen. Yung pahinasyon ng libro. Amen. Di ba? Tayo yung libro. At sa pitak ng puso mo, may mga pangalan diyan na nakasulat. Kaya hindi nakapagtataka, maski pasawa yan, malapit ang puso mo. Meron din naman ang bait, ang buti, tignan, pero parang malayo ang loob mo. Wala tayong magagawa. Damdamin na yan ng Diyos. So salamat sa Panginoon, mga kabatid. So announcement po natin, no? Ah, uh,